there's one thing about getting older that nobody tells you. And if I could go back and talk to my younger self and tell myself one thing, this is the one thing that I wish I had known sooner. Now, when you're growing up and you know maybe you're in first grade and you have people that you trust, like your teacher or your parents, or maybe there's a family member that, that you really look up to, or you know maybe you're, you're in high school or in university and there's a professor that you think is just so cool, they know so much, like how could they possibly know all these things? Like who, who is telling them all these things? Or you know, maybe you get your dream job and you see all the people around you who, you know, seem to have everything figured out. Like everyone in your office or everyone on your construction site, you know, is putting all the pieces in, into the right spot. And you think like, oh my gosh, how do they know how to do all this? Who is telling them what to do? And so you idolize these people and and you trust them and you, you kind of think to yourself like, oh my gosh, I could never do what they're doing. They seem to have everything figured out. And you know, maybe you're watching me because I'm one of those people where you know I seem to have figured out how to make money with photography or I have photo tips or camera knowledge that you also want. And you know, we have that relationship. But you know, as I as I get older and as I enter my 33rd year of life, as, as I turn 32 today, um, every year I, I try to look back and, and reflect on something that, that I've learned over the last few years. And I think for me, this is something that I haven't necessarily learned over the last year, but probably over the last five years. And I, and I think at first it was something that without knowing this, it, it held me back. It held me back from trying the things that I wanted to try or feeling like I knew enough to actually go out and be confident in the things that I wanted to do, whether that was, you know, getting a job in architecture or, you know, trying photography or starting a YouTube channel or, you know, sharing pieces of information on the internet. I think we all have those things that we feel like we don't know enough about and that there are other people that we look to for advice. But all of that advice, all those things that we learn and consume don't matter unless we actually take action on it. So as I get older, the one thing that, you know, kind of the curtain has been peeled back is that all those people that we looked up to that, that seem to know what they're doing, all those content creators who have millions of subscribers and make, you know, all this money, whatever, however much those people make, you know, they seem to have everything figured out. Like I could never do what they're doing. You could never do what they're doing. But I think as you, as you, encounter those people and you learn the things that they do you know maybe the the appeal of of you know your your elementary school teacher being so knowledgeable all of a sudden gets pulled back and you realize you know what they were just kind of making things happen they were just sharing what they knew or that professor you had in university you know he really didn't know too much about the real world about the working world or maybe you get that dream job and you know you, you spend five years in that dream job and you know, by the time that comes to an end, you look at people around you and you go, you know, everyone else is just, they don't really know what they're doing. They're just kind of figuring it out as they go. And so I want this to be an encouragement to you, you know, that maybe you watch me because you're interested in trying photography or you're interested in, in making things or being a content creator or going out on, on an adventure. Don't let your lack perceived lack of understanding or your fear that other people are more knowledgeable than you, other people know more and are doing more things than you. Don't let that hold you back from doing the things that you really want to do, whether it is photography or, or this or, or whatever it is. So that's my piece of advice to you on my 32nd birthday. Uh, I hope that's somewhat helpful. I hope that encourages you. I hope that inspires you to go out to have that adventure to make things and, and to just get out and uh, go shoot photos. So until the next one.